All right, so we're out here on Gunther. And it's actually pretty cool out here. You've got drive space there. I pulled up over there. Big yard. Again, nice and open. No neighbors bothering you. Now, what the actual property lines are, you have to kind of get an aerial view of CUR at the corner of Little Richmond and Gunther. House itself, wood siding, it's been painted over, which is fine. Roof is a three-dimensional, looks good. Chimney doesn't look bad. Front porch. We are actually gonna go in through the back door. So far so good when I walk in, didn't stink. They've been doing some work in there. They've still got some tools laying around in there. But your block on the foundation looks okay. From what I can see so far. So here is your kitchen. New cabinets, new countertops, new appliances. Windows are original, but they are doing their job. Nice backsplash. Coming straight ahead, you have the dining room with the built-in buffet server and shelving. Hardwoods look good. Did a little bit of painting and patchwork right there, which is nothing out of the ordinary. We do have an alarm system on the property. Going around through the dining room. Stairs that'll take us up. You've got your front door here. And I like this because you have, coming in from the front door, the foyer space to put your shoes, take your coat off, instead of just walking right into your living room. Now these hardwoods were refinished by a pro and they look good. Oh, that appears to be a side door. That's your front door. Again, original single pane windows. Nothing necessarily wrong with them. Just older, not as efficient. Get a view from this way. Super clean in here. And you've got some bedrooms. Ungrounded out, that's typical for a home this age. Decent closet space. Got lights in every room. Decent bathroom. They kept all the old original doors, which is fine. It maintains the character. We got some peeling paint here and there. Sellers can kind of take care of that if we need them to. That'll take us down into the basement. Check that out here in a few minutes. And then back to our kitchen. So let's go upstairs first. Bedroom. I like the little dormer bump out there. Again, good closet space. You're not short on storage here. Then you've got the bigger of the two bedrooms up here. Attic access there. Another little bump out dormer. Space. Mm -hmm. 
This is a really, really good size room up here. Let's head down. This is three beds, one bath, built in 1941, 1,232 square feet, puts them at $77 a square foot. Now, they were under contract for 17 days. Tells me, may not have been inspections. It may, but it may not have. Let's see if we can see that up here. You can see where you're going to get a little bit of water in here. To be expected from these older houses. High efficiency furnace. New ish water heater. And then these older homes, you're not going to do a whole lot down with this basement. The ceiling's low, you're not going to finish it off. This is going to work more for storage. Um, Decent panel, not brand new, but it's not a fuse box either. What we're hearing upstairs is the disarmed alarm, telling us it's been disarmed. So a lot of your plumbing you see right there, where it's joined in with PEX. So they have redone at least some of the plumbing in here. And braided lines going into PEX. So it's an electric water heater, which is an interesting choice for a home with gas in it, but the electric versus gas argument on a water heater is, it's moot, it's, you're not going to see a big difference in your bill. There's your washer hookup, dryer hookup, you need to put a new light bulb in there. I mean, it's, it's a typical basement, it's nothing special, it doesn't smell funky down here, it doesn't smell musty or moldy or anything like that down here, it's a typical basement. It's clean, it's pretty big. A lot of storage space down here. Even you could use it for some hangout space, but you can see your girders and your uh, support beams. They're kind of in the way. They hang down a little bit low. Um, you don't feel any real weird settling as you're walking through the place. Tons of square footage, nice and open. Um, it's a quality house, probably, probably one of the better ones we've seen so far. And you've got some little things like they really could have used a threshold piece right there. Um, little things like that. All in all, not a bad house. I'll get this uploaded and sent over to you.